Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, that's what's up. All right, Kai. I mean, first l let's start with at the end that banger of those last few seconds. I mean, walk us through that. It seemed like that was where you guys left it all out there. Yeah, I mean, props to him. I tried to fight that third round super clean. You know, listen to my coaches, finish off clean, and. He got me off balance. I don't think I got hit really clean in that, in that exchange, but he got me off balance where I couldn't get my feet back under me and I was like, I was fucking, I was pissed. I'm pissed about that 10 seconds, 12, 13 seconds. I mean, it, the whole fight obviously was a scrap. Everyone expected that, the fans did, and you know, they let you guys know with an ovation. I mean, how did you feel about the way that was going up to that point? Um, I felt good. I mean, I didn't feel like I was getting beat up. I mean, I wasn't getting beat. You know, but there was like a couple things of me getting off balance that I thought could fucking play a role. Um, yeah, I thought there was a couple, couple times of me being off, off balance that could have swung it the other way. But you know, fuck, this game sucks sometimes and I'm glad I'm on this side. I did want to ask just finally on that, uh, when they announced that it was going to decision in the scorecards, were you confident that you were going to get that W? No, I wasn't, not usually. I mean, I, I, if you guys know my journey, you know what side I've been on a few times. So I mean, no, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't fully confident. Um, one thing that was giving me confidence, I, I looked over at Jeremy and he was like, yeah, we, we got it. You know, he, th he thought we had it then. Um, but we, and we put in the work together. We, we, we do everything together. So he knows how hard I work. He knows what it's like to be in there. So I, I kind of, I trusted his gut. But at the same time, like, fuck, I know what it is to be Henry Corrales right now. You know what I mean? I know what it's like to be Henry Corrales and it sucks. Um, but fuck. Right now, I don't give a fuck. Cause fucking, I got, I got about to birth my fifth kid. Um, I got my, my wife. Um, I, got, I, I got all my whole team that I got to take care of. So we're, we're good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I'm on this side sitting right here talking to you guys right now. Going back to that last like 15 seconds, it looks like uh, it looked like Henry said something to you, or you guys exchanged some words. Was there something that was said between you guys, or? Oh, after the after the fight. Yes. Yeah, after the fight, he was like, um, he, you know, uh, fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm tough. I'm, a, I'm a banger. Um, he, he thought he, he wanted to get me tired, but he got, he, he got tired. He said he broke in there, but I, I know he, I mean, I, was, I. I, you know, I, I, I love that guy as a, as a professional. I know he didn't break in there. I think he, he probably did get a t little bit tired. He, I don't think he expected me to be walking him down, you know, young, young kid, fucking look like a pretty boy walking him down. Um, but fucking, I, I, I'm not so pretty when I get in, I'm coming after you, you know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, that's what, that's what he told me in there and I respect him a hell of a ton. Like, I know who he's beat, you know what I mean? I know fucking, I got that, if that's who I got to beat to get in the rankings, that's the guy I want to beat. You know what I mean? That guy should be ranked higher than nine in the rankings. That guy's 20 and six. Fucking, he, uh, he's beat the who's who. He hasn't lost to much guys in here. We know who he's beat, who he's knocked out. Um, yeah, I respect him. I asked for that fight. I asked to be on Bellator 300 after my last fight fell through. I, I asked to be in his position, and fucking, I was walking him down. You know what I mean? Like... So, yeah, I mean, that, that's what he told me at the end, but I respect him a ton, man. I, this is a fight that, you know, me and Jeremy, we go through so much different scenarios on what, what, what we want for ourselves, what we want for each other. F that's the guy that I wanted to fight. That's the guy that I, I, I said, that, yeah, that's, I want to fight Henry Corrales. I told my manager I want to fight Henry Corrales, and fuck, I'm right here now. Look where I was two years ago to where I'm at now, you know what I mean? Battle Tour 300 fucking walking down one of the toughest guys in the division, longest stapled guys. Um, I'm proud of that. It kind of looked like he was wiping his blood all over your face maybe to sway the judges or some sort of tactic. What is that what was happening or is it just you guys were hugging and it got all over you? Uh, no, we actually, I seen him do that at the end, but he just, he kind of did that and he said fucking, he said like, hell yeah, man, like, like, thank you. And yeah, I mean, fucking, that's exactly where I wanted to be. If it wasn't like that, that means that means I wasn't winning. You know what I mean? Correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't heard you drop this many f bombs yeah. in an interview before. Maybe it's just me, but uh, it seemed like was there a lot of kind of emotion going into this fight? Is is it? It kind of seems like you're relieved uh, just to have the fight over with and, and everything. 
Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, I like it, by the way. I'm not complaining. I've been in this, I've been in this situation a bunch of times, but on the losing end. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, I was in, like, I'm, we're in the back of the fucking apex, swearing, you know what I mean? Like, wh what the, what the fuck? How many, like, wh what the hell else can I do? But now, on this time, we, I won. You know what I mean? I, they, they, they felt that I won. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking happy. I mean, we've, me and Coach Eric knows freaking about almost two and a half years ago, we were freaking screaming like that in the back mm -hmm. off of the TJ Brown fight. You know what I mean? So, I mean, we, I've been in this situation before. Now they just said, the, they said my name. So, yeah, that, that's, that's why the F-bombs come. It's a, it's, it's a relief. Feel like the, uh, the MMA gods are on your side tonight. You kind of mentioned it there, having flashbacks to the TJ Brown fight. Do you feel like things are kind of coming around your way? You got three wins in a row now, too. Uh, nah, that, 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 that put me in this spot. You know what I mean? That made me grow. That made me smarter. That made me listen to my coaches much more than I already was. That, just, those, that whole stint made me who I am today. You know what I mean? I was like, not young and dumb at that time, but I was just going. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was 25 years old in the UFC. Nobody gonna stop me being world champion in a few years. See you later. And you know, you have to help slow me down a little bit. You know what I mean? And take everything into consideration, everything. I mean, the people I drill with, the people I eat with, everything. Like me and Jeremy teamed up after that. Like, I mean, we were already on the same team, but we seen each other and then we just clicked. We just, everything together. And it's not that we're in Bellator, together or what because we were drilling before that like we were we were like main training partners before that but we just that tj brown fight like helped change my change my life around you mentioned that you wanted henry corrales you got the fight who do you want next is there any opponents in mind um yeah how about i fight james gallagher i mean you know i that's that's i feel like i, I earned the right to say who i want to fight now um i just beat henry corrales you know what i mean i beat somebody in the rankings um to get in the rankings I didn't, I didn't fight who, like this guy, this guy out of nowhere, f from nowhere to jump in the rankings because my name is this, this, and this. I've fought Henry Corrales, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So yeah, give me James Gallagher next. Um, he's got a name. Uh, we haven't got Connor versus Max Holloway yet, two yet, you know? So give me James Gallagher, give me, give me, give me a different version of it. I don't know if you were asked this uh, pre-fight, but uh, were you affected at all by the fires in Hawaii? I know you're a proud Hawaiian. Uh, was there anyone, or did you know anyone that was affected by that? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm kind of Hawaiian, I guess. But oh, very Hawaiian, very Hawaiian. Uh, you had the Hawaiian shirt on. Come on, you, you're repping it. Yeah, big time. Um, you know, I was affected, not directly, but I was affected knowingly that there was a lot of people back home, a lot of kids that are in sports who dream of being in positions that, like me, you know? Um, so yeah, I was affected because I, I, know that, um, I know there's kids out there that, that get stopped from competing, but not even that, they don't even have a home to go to. You know what I mean? So I was affected. Um, my, my fight shirt right there, the Fighting Hawaiian has um, Maui Strong, and I'm not from Maui, but they're from an island. They're, they're, there's a bunch of, there's a Hawaiian kids, Hawaiian families, Hawaiian mom and dads out there that don't even have a home to go to. Um, so yeah, I was affected because they, like they, that what that was in my island, but that's that's still from that they're still they're still from Hawaii, and they eat the same way I eat. They eat from these ships coming in and feeding us. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of there, I know th that could have easily been me, you know. Um, and I I I don't know what it's like to be in that position, you know. And um, yeah, I, I I don't know I don't know how what to say or how to feel um, about it because they got some of them got nothing. Hey, Kai, how's it going? How's it? MMA Locker Room, part of Pub Sports Radio. I just want to talk about some things real quick. You said in, you've been on the other side of some wrong decisions in your fight. So when that third round came into uh, play, what was going through your mind uh, to make you push through and make sure that you get the win this time? Um, just keep it clean. Keep it clean. I know he, I, his, his ways of winning were to make it ugly. Um, and that's nothing against Henry Corrales. It's just... I know what I do and I know what he does and I'm a, just, I'm a much cleaner fighter. So if it's clean, it's probably on my side. Speaking about being on your side, I mean, you got Hawaii on your side. You got one of the best uh, management companies, Sucker Punch ENT with you and also Extreme Couture. Can you tell me a little bit about how all those uh, teams and camps helped you push forward in your career to get this far? 
um, yeah, I, I feel like I have, like, everybody has teams, but I have, like, a, like a, I have a solid team. It's like a family. Um, I look up to Brian as somebody that I can rely on to for anything, for any information, any, any help I can get. Um, yeah, any, anything. And then even, even my, my team, um, um, my coaches, Coach Eddie, Coach Eric, um, Jeremy, their families, you know, their, their families, let them leave them to come and help me. Um, yeah, um, Jeremy's wife was g probably going crazy with her newborn um, this whole week. And I, and I, know, how, I know how he feels, you know what I mean? Like, he, lo he loves to be here with me, but he, he left his wife for a whole, um, a whole week. And I know how he feels. I do the same thing every time for him, for my cousin Ray. I just pack up and go and freaking my, my wife three, two, three, four, about to have five kids and just I'm doing that. I'm leaving for myself or I'm leaving for my team. So, I mean, yeah, I just appreciate all of them. Coach Eddie leaves his, um, his son, his, his other halves, his, his other half, his, his um, the kids every week. Coach Eric, Brian does the same thing. So, I mean, yeah, I, I love my team. You know, everybody, when it's time to go to work, we pack up and we go and we have a good time fight week, but we sacrifice a lot to get to this position.